Sung, when you're dealing with a team member, or when you're a manager, or you're the chief marketing officer, or CEO, how can you trust your employees to do the right thing and to go with what your vision is? So in other words, you're asking me how important it is to trust the judgment or the decision or the skill set of an employee, am I right? Yes, yeah. Um, well, you know, I would give an example from my own uh, life mm -hmm. and that would uh, you know, work better in this context. Um, Some time back I was working with this company and uh, uh, it was an e-learning company. Um, and uh, one of the things that they used to do is send a lot of emails to generate sales. Mm -hmm. uh, they were a B2C, a business to consumer, uh, driven industry. So, uh, you know, I had a chance to work with this company in the consultant role and the CEO of the company felt that it's extremely important to send a lot of emails. And when I say a lot, I'm talking about 300,000 emails two, three times a week. Oh, wow. um, you know, as for the Can Spam Act and the GDPR Act, uh, you should only send emails to people who have opted in for it. It's just a basic common sense. Uh, the CEO said that it does not matter because, you know, these are their loyal customers and they can send X number of emails many, many number of times a week and it's still going to be okay. Now, this was against my best judgment, you know, because I have had done this for a long time in my life. So, uh, you know, I, uh, I said this to the CEO in the nicest way is that this is not going to work because if you're sending so many emails so many times every week, the customer is going to, you know, report it as a spam and it might even lead to blacklisting according to Camp Spam Act. And that's sad because not everyone understands how email marketing works, but we need to really be, uh, you know, res we need to respect the customers at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. um, having said that, uh, you know, after warning, and, uh, you know, but at, at the end of the day, it was the CEO's decision. So we decided to go ahead and uh, keep sending the emails. You know, my team still started sending emails three times a week to the 300,000 customers. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or something like that. And just after two email sends, so I'm saying just after two days of sending the emails, they were blacklisted. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason they were blacklisted is because many of these people had asked not to be sent the emails and they were still being sent email blasts one after another. So, coming back to the original question that you asked me, it's very important to respect and trust the employee's judgment. As I said, uh, you know, Steve Jobs said once very, very beautifully that you should hire the smartest people and let them do tell you what to do. So if a person is an expert in email marketing, you should trust their judgment. It goes the same way for any other employee who is really experienced in something else. Um, you know, it's good to be the jack of all, but you should also hire experts and trust them for their own judgment, for their skills and the experience they have had in their life. So I feel you guys, uh, you know, you should do the same in your life. What do you feel about this? Leave a comment below and let us know um, what do you feel about uh, trusting the judgment of your employees, your peers, your colleagues.